Hi, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite R packages, which is the here package. And I'm going to address one of the most common questions about um, using the here package, which is why should I use it when I'm already using R Studio projects? Um, this is based on a blog post that I did, which you can find a link to here, bit.ly slash why here package pkg. So a while back, uh, Jenny Bryan from R Studio had a very uh, controversial stance that was uh, shared in a talk and then on Twitter, uh, where it was met with some um, enthusiasm and disagreement, uh, where she said, if the first line of your R script is set working directory, and then it's some absolute path that only exists on your computer, doesn't exist on my computer, so I, I pick up your R script and I can't actually run this code because this doesn't exist on my computer. She's going to come to your office and set your computer on fire. And secondly, if you survive that, if the first line of your R script is remove list equals ls, uh, she's also going to come to your office and light your computer on fire. Um, so these are two commonly used patterns in R scripts, and they're both problematic. Um, they're problematic because the first one, uh, I simply don't have that, that path on my computer, and so your code's not going to run. I have to go manually change it to wherever it's located on my computer. Uh, the second is usually intended on restarting your R session such that you have a, uh, a fresh session. Uh, the problem with, with RM is that it doesn't actually do that. So this will remo remove many of the objects in your global environment, but it's not going to unload packages, and it's not going to remove global options, it's not going to change your working directory, things like that. So it doesn't actually give you a fresh session. Um, on the other hand, it might aggravate the person who you sent your script to because you just cleared everything out of their environment without, without, their, without their permission. So uh, the advice that, that Jenny gives in this talk is that you should, first of all, use our studio projects, uh, and second of all, use the here package, uh, and specifically the here function within that package to write file paths. So use, using our studio projects is very straightforward. It, it's, uh, um, it's very easy to create an R studio project in our studio, uh, and it solves the absolute working directory problem immediately because uh, as soon as you open a project, your working directory is wherever that project is. So that solves that problem. You can just write relative paths. If I take your project on my computer, it will still run. Um, you can also set your projects such that they always start with a, sesh, a fresh session. You know, you don't save any of your data or your history or anything like that. And you can uh, set it so that uh, when you restart your R session, it does the same thing. And so it solves actually both of these problems. So the question is, why did Jenny also suggest that we should be using the here function? So uh, this is an example project directory that I have here. Uh, this is an RStudio project. It's got three folders in it. Um, I've got some figures, some data, an R markdown file, and some other scripts. You can find a link here on my GitHub. Uh, it's under Malcolm Barrett slash here underscore here. So the most important reason why we might want to use the here package is that when we're writing paths with here, it actually operates from the, the package or the project directory up. So if I am in, for instance, my R markdown file, R markdown, every time you run that script, it actually runs in a fresh session with its own local working directory. So if I run this code, I have this data file, I run this code in my script, I'm gonna end up with an error because my directory is not uh, available uh, one up from where my R markdown file is. However, the here package loads uh, the working directory from the project directory up, not wherever the file is. And so now when I say here data mtcars.csv, it has no trouble finding this data because again, it's going back to this root directory for my project. Additionally, here bottles up several best practices so that you don't have to think about them when you're writing file paths. Uh, file paths, frankly, are not fun to think about writing, and so here takes care of a lot of that stuff for you. One good example is that it will write paths that operate safely across operating systems. Right? Mac, Windows, Linux, they have um, potentially slightly different ways of writing things, and, and this will handle this for you so that if you give your code to somebody that's operating on a different system, uh, your code is still going to run. So uh, the advice is use R Studio projects, uh, avoid set working directories to some absolute path, and uh, try restarting your R session in a clean session rather than RM. Uh, both those things will avoid some arsony. 
and then use the here function from the here package to work from the project directory up. Thank you, my name is Malcolm. You can find my GitHub here and uh, I'm on Twitter and my website is malcolm.io. Uh, this blog post is, uh, is available um, to learn much more about this, uh, this really great function. Thank you.